I said by 100 million. Let's look at why the French president visited Nigeria and some of the challenges that we're currently facing. So, Leila, mm. like we spoke about at the start of the show, currently in Abuja, there's a protest, a peaceful protest going on by Enough is Enough Nigeria. We've seen lots of celebrities with videos online doing the hashtag blood on the flag, saying um, to the government, and they're actually trying to gather the uh, attention of international bodies, saying, we need help. Help us. So they've been tagging BBC, CNN, and all the international bodies asking for help. However, he's come to Nigeria to tell us that France cannot fix our problems. I mean, it's simple. France cannot fix your problems. You should fix your problems. And you know, interestingly, something else that was fixed. The road where you have the shrine located. Uh -uh. Yeah. Hey, when you say it's a miracle, walking God, that is the perfect soundtrack for what happened. I was surprised. You can still even smell the tar. Like they had to fix the... You can't tell me that, oh, you just decided to fix the road because the spirit of development and dividend of democracy got into you and you decided to fix the road. They fixed the road. Will Emmanuel Macron come to Nigeria every day? And be entering portal. It is a shame that we have to, you know, maybe to scotch political points or to make ourselves look good. We resort to doing things that we should ideally do because that is the responsibility of government. Now, Emmanuel Macron, you see why I love people like this? They will not lie to you. Nobody will sugarcoat. Oh, your excellency, most distinguished, honorable senator, um, if it's not for you, we would not be enjoying. He has told you point blank. We cannot solve your problems. We have our own issues that we are dealing with. We would want you, a country that is so blessed with abundant human and natural resources, to take charge and chart a course for your development. And, you know, he has sent a message. Only the wise will understand. What we must do as Nigerians is to understand that a country that God has so blessed with people who are thriving outside the shores of Nigeria, we look at our healthcare system in Nigeria and say, oh, our nurses, our doctors, a lot of them are incompetent. But these people are lauded for their hard work, their commitment, and their dedication to duty outside the shores of Nigeria. It tells you a lot about your system. Now, if we do not want to live in a country where every day is a struggle, if we do not want to live in a country where we are only existing because it is not my portion, because I am covered with the blood, then we must take a stand. And taking a stand is understanding the problems. The, I always say, Angel Gabriel will not come down from heaven with a manual, fix Nigeria right. Step one, step two. The problems are there. The solutions are there. All we need to do is be committed to ensuring that we deal with these problems. It will Absolutely. not happen overnight. Two years, five years, ten years, we're going to build a Nigeria that we're proud of. Let me just quickly use the example of China. Do you know that Nigeria and China were rubbing shoulders as third world countries underdeveloped? But what did Chairman Mao do? He went back. It was rigorous. It was torturous. It was really very hard. But they planned. They consolidated. And they sustained it. Not your hashtag pray for Nigeria. As a Catholic, as an altar server, I can remember all my, all my childhood prayer for Nigeria in distress. Prayer against bribery and corruption in Nigeria. We don't joke with it. And if you see the faithful converge in the church, same prayer against bribery and corruption in Nigeria. And we don't try to plug the loopholes that we are wasting our time. To enjoy more of this, our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love.